Yuri, my name is Purple Yoshi, and today I am going to be joined by the Pink Pig. So, seeing as season one of Superpowers kind of ended, I guess you could say, we decided to make a video about the, lo the logistics of superpowers. Number one, super speed. So obviously, if you have ever seen any TV shows with people that have super speed, they seem to have very good navigation skills, but like real people, we don't have that good navigation. Like, I guess you could learn it really fast. In a lot of TV shows where people have super speed, their mind goes just as fast as it. But if your mind didn't go as fast, if you just tried to run for like a bit, before you know it, your head would be in a tree. Number two. No! Forgot to close the parenthesis on the sheet. Close now. Number two, flying. So obviously, if you're flying high above the skies, people are gonna be scared, especially if, like in movies and stuff. Super characters that have way too many powers, they like just fly above the skies, and everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, you're gonna save us! Yay!" Like, really? Like when someone actually flew, wouldn't you kind of be scared? Like. Oh my goodness, are they gonna kill us? What are they? Mm -hmm. ah, ah, like ah. aliens? Number three. Bad costumes with no mask. Like Superman? But he doesn't have a mask. This isn't another person. Number four. Uncontrollable powers. This kind of relates to our Superpowers Holiday Edition video because your British character had laser vision. If you. Well, in the morning, like Piggy said earlier when we were making this list, everyone opens their eyes to find their glasses. So and wouldn't you be just shooting your <laughs> lasers around everywhere? Would contacts do the same thing? If you had a spouse, then you just- Like, even at a sleepover and you open your eyes in the middle of the night, oh my gosh, it's killed my friend. You just burn a hole through the roof or the wall or yeah, whatever it's like, way you face when you sleep. Number five. Invisibility. Clothes. What else do we need to say? I mean, in some movies, people, whatever they touch when they're invisible. What about the floor? Your clothes probably aren't going to turn invisible. Then you'd have to go completely naked. And like, It's just not fun. Hoping that you can control when you turn visible again, you won't be naked in public. Number six, where would you even get all these materials? My British character had fire and she wore these gloves that could make her not, you know, shoot fire everywhere. But where do you even get those? You wouldn't be able to just custom make them. Fireproof gloves, and also if, when you were making them, wouldn't you just burn them before they were finished? Fireproof from the inside, not the outside. Number seven, what about when you just leave places randomly? In some TV shows, where they have super speed and they need to go save someone super quick, or where they have mm -hmm. another power, they need to go save someone super quick. Super get quick. It super quick. Pun intended. Okay. Joining the police force. Are are the police really just gonna let these like super alien people join them and I mean, fight crime? Like really? In some movies they're okay with it. Would you really just let them do that? Um, I'm probably gonna cut most of this out, so let's just go ahead and do the outro and then But yeah, we really don't rec recommend that you like do anything crazy with nuclear weapons or chemicals. Or formula on a potato chip. Portilla chip, get it right. <laughs> Are tortilla chips just like tortillas that have been cooked in a certain way? Thank you for watching this video, and if you did enjoy it, then please do stay tuned for more videos coming on both of our channels. We will see you all later. Goodbye!